What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We back here with some more Metallica. This time we're checking out Lords of the Summer. Um, this did come by donation and I was uh, looking for I don't a uh, lyric video. I'm not sure if this one is an accurate one. I scrolled through the comments. It didn't seem like there's too many people talking about like the accuracy of the lyrics, but I will try to keep my ears open. Generally, I don't have any issues with the lyrics on the Metallica stuff. So let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, I like the intro, right? The way that the, the guitars was coming in on each beat, the doom, 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 it, the, it almost kind of sounded like it was being splashed in there, right? Like you could kind of hear the, the creak of the, of the tone of the guitar at the beginning and the end right before it, you know, kind of like a, like a clap, but then you hear a clap before it, like a pre-clap or something like that. That was pretty cool. And of course, with this being titled Lords of the Summer, you got to kind of give that, you know, that type of sound where you're looking down a highway and it's really, really hot, right? But if you squint, you can kind of see some of the tar uh, showing in the, in the, the heat from the tar showing in the air. And it's like this little uh, blurry, you guys know what I'm talking about. When the guitar, when the, when the second guitar kind of came in there and gave us that long sustained note, that's what gave me that kind of summer vibes. Things are heating up, baby. <laughs> Time to rock, baby. <laughs> Hold on, am I tripping? Obviously, they did a double time, but it almost sounded like it sped up again in there. I could be tripping. No, it definitely did. Yeah, I don't know. I could be tripping, but I, I mean, yeah. Throughout that entire thing right there, I think they were playing with the tempo a little bit. The rhythm section was, it almost like the rhythm section was kind of detecting the tempo, but I'm almost like 90% sure that there was a little bit of a slowdown and a little bit of a speed up right there, right? If that's the case, that's genius. That's genius, right? Because if I wasn't listening with a critical ear, I would have missed that. I'm pretty sure it was. That's awesome. I could be driven though. Y'all let me know. So anytime I'm starting to react uh, to these Metallica songs, right, and I'm guessing that this is a deep cut, you know what I mean? Um, I kind of think about 
like why is it that I don't get react I don't get request to reaction uh request for reactions uh to stuff like this like Lords of Summer right because uh when a donator did give me you know when they donated to give me a reaction to this I couldn't put a life in me I was like Lords of Summer of course there are people that are recommending stuff from Metallica for me to react to like the deep tracks but I don't think Lord of Summer came and i and i just started thinking about okay what is it about this song that made people not request it because at this point in my youtube uh my youtube journey my youtube career i've reacted i mean i could, i think i could safely say i've reacted to all of the popular metallica songs including some really really popular deep cuts you know what i mean at this point right now so i'm be listening to stuff you know why don't people like this as much right compared to the rest of it uh so compared to the most popular ones <laughs> I'm been trying to give find some concept into what James is singing about right here, right? The Lords of Summer, right? Not literally Lords of Summer. I'm not sure if they exist and everything, but the summer's gonna come back. Like, what are you melting the chill of winter's dirt, right? So these are all analogies, right? But he's comparing this to something like, what exactly is the Lords of Summer? The only thing I could think of is that when the sun comes out, right, we're 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 warmed, you know? What I mean, almost as if something has come to thaw us out right we're kind of stuck in place right so i'm thinking of something like in life there are times in life where we might feel stuck in place where we might feel stuck in any and maybe in an emotion or maybe in a situation or something like that and then we might do something to come and kind of thaw us out right to get us moving again uh it's kind of similar to we waking up in the morning right you're really tight right because you've been sleeping all day you know part of the sun being uh, rising up you know you see it on the horizon you see that it's time to wake up probably the first thing you do is start stretching right to kind of uh, shake off some of that winter's dirt you know what i mean and then some of us might go and get some coffee right to kind of really lubricate us up now that's just an analogy on my end um you can apply this to pretty much anything but that's my line of thinking so far Light passes through. Okay, so I know that some of the songs that they talk talk about will be like like drugs or alcohol and everything, but like light passes through vein entry, right? I mean, come on, it's it's literally right there. But I like that. I like how he's doing that comparison. Light passes, right? That's when the sun comes up. It, I like this. This analogy is really that's one thing I kind of love about Metallica. It's just they're they're wordsmiths in their their very own right, man. the shaking of the ground right i love that word recall you've been here before okay calling, calling, all as one. Lords of summer bring the sun. Yeah, i feel a solos coming on y'all the uh the pace of the song how they're kind of switching between double time and half time 
it's time to get up and go, right? The winter. Oh, actually, actually, surprisingly, the get up and go is done during a verse, right? And then uh, the coming, the, the telling of the coming of the sun is the slow part. It's almost like, you know, compared to my analogy, as he was sitting there talking about, you know, winter and, you know, recalling and stuff like that. It's almost like I'm dreaming or something like that. Like I'm sleeping and I'm dreaming and I wake up. And just like with anybody, I don't know if some of you guys are like morning, you know, you, 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 you're you good at getting up in the morning. But for me, it's pretty, it's it's pretty slow, you know, until I start get to go, until I start getting going. It's like a full circle, you know what I mean? So it could be that, right? This, the, the, the course that's playing right now could be, you getting going and once you get going in this the realization everything's moving fast until you come back to a slow uh come up to a slow fall almost kind of like a uh like coming off of the high that you've jumped from your coffee and just waiting you know the frostbite is taking over i need to get back on that coffee high if you know what i mean right so i'm gonna bring the warmth i'm gonna take the coffee let the light pass through my veins let the warmth pass through my veins And I like that you'll trade your darkness for the sun, right? A, uh, uh, it's almost like it's flipped, right? You're trading your darkness, which could possibly be the good for the sun, which in this case is probably the bad, right? Generally, when you say that darkness is fun, you think you're trading your bad for the good. But I think this way it's flipped. You're trading your good for the bad, right? Depending on the circumstance. Still rocking, baby. Let's go. Oh my goodness.
goodness. Okay, so there's quite a bit to unpack in that solo. All right, so bear with me. Appreciate it if you didn't skip it. Okay, I'm just going to give you some thoughts about what I thought about that solo. So as the rhythm section was going on, you know, kind of came to, you know, to kind of establishing a nice little foundation for us to kind of grab onto, you know, they got us jamming. Now, one thing I found very interesting about this solo was how the second guitar that kind of came in, how it was mixed, right? It was almost kind of like it was mixed. Well, not kind of like, but in my headphones, if you guys were listening to this in headphones, it was mixed to the to to the right, right? But the way that it was mixed, it almost made it sound like that it was a like it was a thorn in my side. Like it was just sitting over here, right, just tucked away. And it was just being like really, really annoying. And I was sitting here listening to the melody, right? The da, 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 da. And then it went da, 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 da. right? That type of melody. It almost make it sound like Hey, you know, like, like, like a sly salesman, you know what I mean? Trying to get one over you, like, like, so like, like a devil on your shoulder, like, Hey, what you, what you doing? You know, you want to come over here and everything. And of course, as the, um, solo continued to, to, you know, progress and everything, we find that slowly, but surely that little sound right there starts to kind of take over. Right. And not only that, but it, it sounded like there was another recording over that of another voice kind of joining in. And then before you know it, right, the whole entire thing is just rumbling. Everybody's just jamming. And that just got me thinking about my whole entire coffee analogy. You know what I mean? Where you're waking up and you're just like, ah, no, I can't do this. Coffee's in your head. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta go get that coffee. And before you know it, I've drank it. Now I've become one with the coffee. I've become one with my Lord of summer. And now it's time to get going. As we seen with that solo, as it was coming in, it was jamming. I could be far off, but man, that was a good solo. like the ending of something that's returned. It's here, baby. Absolutely amazing. Okay. I want you guys to let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments. It's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.